Many of the diseases that we know of today are linked to something called a leaky gut. Have you heard this term before? Hi, I'm Dr. Rashmi Kulkarni, co-founder of Arna Gen Next Solutions. Leaky gut is something that we commonly hear or read about nowadays. But what is it and why does it cause so many different kinds of diseases? There are some basic things that we need to understand. And as usual, let us deep dive into it. Let us break it down into five simple points. So what is leaky gut? Leaky gut is the gut basically or the digestive tract or the intestine which becomes leaky or porous. It actually has holes in it. So the problem here is that you know when food is passing through the intestine, if the intestine is going to leak, you can only imagine what happens. The contents of the intestine, the germs that are present are going to leak into other organs into the body cavity outside the intestine and that can cause major major problems so why is it happening why does leaky gut even happen when we do not have food that has enough fiber what actually happens is that the lining of the gut does not remain intact because fiber is very very crucial for gut health for the lining of the intestine the cells that are tightly bound together by something called as tight junctions so these tight junctions are not made properly and these cells are not tightly connected to each other anymore leaving gaps in between that's how leaky gut actually happens when we don't have enough fiber in our diet so what is the third thing that we need to know? How does it all act? Fiber is normally digested by the germs in our gut. When we have food that is nourishing for us, that has all the components that we need, we are actually enriching the gut microbiome. But when we do not have that kind of food, we are killing off the microbiome slowly or we are lacking the kind of diversity that we need. And a low diversity of a microbiome is very harmful because now it is going to allow pathogens to come in. It is going to allow germs that really damage our health and they even damage the intestinal lining. So not only do we have gaps in the intestinal cells, there's something called a mucus layer that is present on top of this, which is very healthy. So the germs start eating that mucus layer. Now, because the mucus layer is gone and the cells have gaps in it, we have all possible things going inside our body cavity and to all other organs into our bloodstream. What is the fourth important thing to know? That this kind of a leaky gut has domino effects. So when things start leaking into different body parts, into the bloodstream, we have toxic products of undigested food because now food is not being digested very properly undigested food toxic products and different kinds of germs that should not be there are going into the bloodstream they're going to all kinds of organs this can lead to a lot of chronic diseases this actually increases the risks of chronic diseases infections several forms of cancers allergies as we have seen before so leaky gut can actually be very dangerous if you have any diseases can that be linked to a leaky gut, to a poor fiber intake, to a poor microbiome? So what is the fifth thing that we need to know? How do we fix it? Do we know we have leaky gut? So if we can uh, fix that, why can't we do it soon enough? So we need to include a good amount of plant-based foods in our diet that we have emphasized on many many times before fruits vegetables different colored fruits and vegetables to incorporate different kinds of phytochemicals and the wonderful fiber that it has is going to enrich the gut microbiome it is going to prevent this leaky gut which is then in turn going to prevent a lot of these chronic diseases so stay away from those and get your meal plate to reflect what your microbiome should look like and this is how we are going to stay away from all kinds of chronic diseases and prevent something called leaky gut. See you in the next one.